Hey guys, welcome back. I'm playing on Transient by Liquid Arrow. First things first, what is this? I'm guessing this is a car I can help move around the map. The idea of this map is basically it's huge. It's in really big. And the idea is that you just run around to the trader as soon as the round starts. So we're going to try some of that. Which is also why I picked the medic because of how fast he can run. This map is very, very bright. Which is nice, especially when we're outside. And it does have some good shadows and some nice weather effects as well. I'm liking the rain and the wet floor. That's very nice. And we've got a burning truck as well. That's cool. Do we have destructible lighting? We don't. But there are some interesting APCs in here. It is very bright in here, I think. Ooh, what's this? Okay, we control doing the trader phase. I'm guessing some of these transportation elements are here because... Okay, well first of all, the walls are wet in here. I'd like to point out that it's not raining inside. Same with the floor. Oh my god, I completely missed his head. Right, so I'm guessing the transportation elements are in so that when it's the trading phase in between waves, you can actually... If you decided to stay still, you can use that as extra movement, I'm guessing. Oh, lovely sunbeams. Look at my gun. There we go. That's lovely. And some ammo. Nice. But yeah, I'm loving the like the scenery. We've got some lovely cliffs and treeside. And an interesting little, little vehicle crash here. I have to jump around to get across the map. To get around the map. What are these? Like a giant anus sticking out. Okay. Uh, that's actually not my trader. Okay, so where is my trader? Now, this cavern area is really bright. I mean, I know it's got glow sticks in it, but... The ceiling is very bright. I think turning down the darkness would be a good idea here. Oh, hello. 67 meters upwards. Huh. Okay, I'm I'm actually quite lost. I wonder if it's random where your trader is. So I know it's supposed to be a huge map, but I'm wondering if oh that'll be it there. The idea is that it's a huge map and of course, as usual, the trader is random. So it could be a very close trader or it could be really far away. Oh wow. This rock bridge, that's really cool. There we go, that's how you shoot at people believe I missed the guy's head earlier. That was ridiculous. Alright, seems like they're starting to catch up now. Oh, this map is huge. I wonder how big it is. Looks like the cliffs are falling apart as well. Got some cool little rock detail there. Oh, of course. My bad. I want to poison him. Can I poison him to death? Just something to do to pass the time, I guess not. He's a bit of a tough one. Anyway, let's get straight to my trader and let's have a bit of running around on the next wave. Explore some more of the map. Where is my last Zed? Where is he? He's got to be nearby because the little skull thing should show up. Oh. This is the problem with big maps. God, am I stuck on? So, is it going to respawn him, or is he going to stay up there permanently? I don't have to go run for him. Please respawn him somewhere. Um. Oh, there he is. It did respawn him, but not somewhere useful. It's respawned him up there. I'm guessing Zed's dropped down from here, but... Because I'm so far away, he doesn't have to get to me. Anyway, he's dead, so see you next wave. Well, hopefully we won't have any more Zed pathing issues. I guess his problem is that he was just way too far away, because to get to me, he would have to drop down, go all the way through the tunnel just to get to here, so... Where is my trader? It's down somewhere! So hopefully... i just clear the numbers a bit. Let's go and see where it is. It's above me somewhere. I'm not sure whether it's to the left or to the right. I'm... Hmm. 
I'm a little confused as to where it is, so let's just start running around. There's another one, I think. No, that's all. So, I'm guessing it's that one. It seems like it's that one, which means we have to do another run around. So what I'll do is I'll fight my way through. And if I have to, I'll try and keep some alive. But other than that, I'll oh, shut up. I'm the one doing the talking. I'll run around this way instead of the way I just turned up so you can see a bit more of the map. So I'm guessing this goes up and then turns left and goes through the canyon here. Right from where the rocks are falling down. I have another tunnel. Wait, is this blocked off? Oh, I actually can go through this. Okay, I was actually expecting that to be blocked off so Zeds could spawn here, but no, okay. I'm gonna go into the new canyon area. Yeah, it's very bright in areas like this. And more pickups and a gun. Nice. I'm I'm so glad I picked the medic to have fast I can run. See, this is this is nice and dark. This is about as dark as it should be. I would tone it down a bit more. But I do like my contrast in brightness and darkness, so that's just my opinion. I heard that. Is that a crawler? It is a crawler. Welcome. Another pickup. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm doing a lot of running around, but I hope there's not too many of these. Also... Okay, this is my trader, is it? It's down here somewhere. Is it the one inside? Uh, the one I ran past before? This one? Yeah, it's this one. Okay. Now, this is the problem I have. I don't know where the Zeds are. Eventually, they'll make their way to me. Here we go. Just play and catch up. There we go. See you next wave. Now, what concerns me about this map is that because I'm only doing short, I may not come across all of the areas that I'd like to see in the map. So, it might come to a point where I'm going to have to purposefully just do a lot of running around. But it seems like I am actually going the right way. What is this? Hmm. I thought that might be a hidden area or something. Yeah, they're all following me. They're taking their time. We're gonna fight our way through though. In fact, while I picked it up. Oh, that's actually my trader. Okay. Let's fight them indoors then. Well, I did just pick up a shotgun, so. Ah, shit. I can't do that, can I? Right, hang on. Well, now she's dead. I can just drop a grenade at my feet. I think I'm on a level 20. But yeah, as I was saying before, because I want to make sure I explore everywhere for you guys. So, I'm going to have a bit of a look around this area first, because I'm guessing, like, next wave I'm just going to have to disappear and run off somewhere. Okay, so this bit's blocked off here, but that's probably the way on. I think I'm going to pick this up while it's here. Oh, interesting. Right, I'm probably going to go that way next wave, so... Don't mind me, Mr. Scrake. You just stay cool. He didn't stay cool, did he? No, he did not. I don't think he likes being ignored. Oh my god, what's that guy made of? And of course, there's this direction as well. This is what I was saying before, there's so many places to go, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Ooh! I like this grass area. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go one of these two directions. So, because I don't have any idea where I'm going to be next. Oh wow, look at the size of this place. I think I'm just going to have to accept that I may not explore everywhere. Which sucks, because I would like to show you the entire map if possible. So I'm just going to do some running around and I'll keep going this way and then I'll probably just cut to the next wave and then see where I have to go. Because I don't know what I'm going to have to explore. But I'm liking this high grass area. The thing I like about these types of areas is that you really can't see where the Zeds are. And I've got the icons on now so it's not exactly a great example. But Oh my god, there's a ramp up there as well. 
and another little base section. Is this where the lift went to? I remember that lift from earlier. Right, I know I've still got the scrake, so I'm not worried about that. He's just going to take his time lumbering around. See, the thing is, is, you've got these glow sticks here, yet it's not even dark. Oh, shit! Guess I disturbed this guy while he was having a break. I think this is the dead end. These fuckers are bullet resistant, aren't they? Oh, dear. I don't know what I'm too bothered about. I'm level 20. So... There we go. So I think this is this is the end of this section, which is kind of relieving actually because it means I can go up here. At least if I've explored most of the area, that means that uh, I shouldn't miss anything. I'm guessing this goes back to where I spawned. This eventually just loops all the way around. Oh, it's another one of those. Um, these extended anus things that look really weird. Look how bright this is. Like, look at the rock. And look at this. Oh, is it moving? Ugh. I can't even light it up. I can light up this bit. That's like the endless anus pit. That's disgusting. So what I think I'll do is, because I saw where the lift comes out, is I'll go back to where I spawned in at the beginning. It should be around here somewhere. There it is. Okay, there's the car. And then I'll go all the way over here. And then when I finish the wave, I'll take the lift down. So I can show you guys that. Of course, for now, I'm hoping that if I get far enough away from him, the game will just respawn him somewhere. He's somewhere nearby, so... Wait, I can go up? I'm guessing this is just what a platform looks like. Come on. Get over here. He doesn't like the poison, so it drives him crazy. Alright, so I've got a long way to go, but let's try this lift out. That was nice and easy. And here we are, we're actually right here, so I just have to, well, it's a long way to run, but I should be able to make it in time and get to the trader. Okay, so this is our trader from before. This is where we were last time. You can tell because I made a mess. And I'm hoping I have to go left. Now I don't actually know where that is, so it could well be left. That's where we went before, that other path, just as a reminder. I did pop my head around this way before, but because I didn't really need to go. Here we are. Of course, now we're going to see the trickiness of this big area, and in fact... I'm thinking that may be all one big place. So look, how, look how far that goes, so I guess we'll go up this way. It's probably just one big grassy area. At least I hope I'm right. Uh oh. That's not good. Careful with your texture wrapping. But overall, I think this is an interesting map. I like unique map ideas. And overall, it's nicely done. I think some some tweaking with the lighting is all that's needed. Other than that, it's quite nice to actually play something a bit unique. Oh, fuck me! Oh, fuck me. Okay, right. Uh, go away. Right. Let me figure this out. Hey, guys. Just stand in this for a sec. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Is he going? Did I get them both? I did get them both. So for those of you who don't know, you get a shotgun, you play as a medic, you just drop a shit ton of grenades on you and then just stand in it. Now I've actually been across there because I came down this route here. I'm probably going to die if I fall down there, so... God, where the hell is, um, the hell is my trader? I'll tell you what, seeing as I'm doubling back on myself, I'll just skip till when I get there, after I've killed these guys. I'm not going to do another mid-wave shot, if you know what I mean. Wait, where are your buddies at? Okay, well, let's see where we go. 
I can't climb up this. I was kind of hoping I could do a bit of mountain climbing there. You can see some of the texture seams from a distance, like in this little area, because I noticed them mainly up there. Alright. You can't really snipe with this thing, funnily enough. Excuse me, buddy. So I'm guessing it's one of the traders I saw all the way over the other end. I have no idea which direction to run towards, so I'm just going to skip to the next wave. See you then. So I ran all the way to my trader, which is where I bumped into that surprise flesh pound earlier, waiting for this guy, who is actually stuck in the same place as the other Zed was up here, so do check this place out, it seems a bit, a bit buggy. And one thing I do want to mention is on higher difficulty Zeds move faster so it's not going to be much of a problem but the problem with all big maps is that even if your Zed pathing's good sometimes it just takes Zeds way too long to get there so to just keep that in mind having more ways for Zeds to get around will be good anyways boss time so I skipped the trader because I was trying to get to this car in time but I couldn't I had to do far too much running to get to that Zed so we won't get to see what it does unfortunately so let's see what our boss is. Well he's in one of the tunnels, I'm actually hoping he's in the one that's closest to me, which is this one. He is not, he's probably the one that's like over there. I did skip the trader so let's pick up some ammo on the way because that's really all I needed. So there is a tunnel over the far side, remember those bits of rocks that fall on the floor? Like part of the uh, the cavern was collapsing. That's probably where he is. Can I pick up? Oh, Winchester. Okay, well at least I can snipe him from a distance or something. Again, the problem about um, the boss is that if he's random spawn, you could be in this situation where it's just going to take a hell of a long time to get to him. What could be an idea is have a set place for the boss to spawn. And I don't mean like um, somewhere people can exploit. Maybe like he spawns at one of these or something. I don't know. Or something appears and he drops down or something like that. Somewhere where people can't just set a trap for him. But if he's complete random spawn anywhere on the map, I have no idea where this guy is. I can hear him. But he's just doing a hell of a lot of walking around. I think he's over there somewhere, but... I'm basically in the situation where I can't really do much apart from eventually wait for him to get here and if I was a sharpshooter I may just be able to snipe him from really far away over and over again because the patriarch I can't see him but the doctor I would be able to like if he appeared all the way over there I could probably kill him before he got to me no probs the advantage the patriarch has is that he's invisible and I think he's been respawned I think it's respawned up there, or he's in the tunnel. That'll be it, yeah, it'll put him in the tunnel. There he is. Hello. I have a lot of health, so I'm just going to do this. And of course, look how far away I am. He's only just started doing damage to me. In fact, it takes way too long to reload this stuff. Nice shooting, Tex. But, uh, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Didn't mean to do that. Right, that can go. It's just annoying me. Now, I'm going to tank this simply because if I don't, it's going to take me forever to kill him. Right, come here. Don't get in my way. Come here. I don't need to run away and then we never catch you again. There we go. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Loads of money.